Magandang araw mga masisipag na estudyante ng Math 22. Nandito na tayo sa huling parte ng discussion sa quadric surfaces. Muli, ako si Jake Avila. Pagkatapos ng video ito, tayo ay matututo kung paano iguhit ang graph ng hyperboloid of one sheet. In this exercise, we want to sketch the graph of the equation negative times the quantity x minus 6 squared over 12 plus y squared plus z squared over 9 equals 1. Here, the necessary planes are already indicated. First, we have the following observations. The degree of each variable present is 2. For instance, the first term when expanded is degree 2, y squared is also degree 2, and the last term z squared over 9 is also degree 2. Moreover, when we put all the terms with the variable in it on one side of the equation, only the term corresponding to x has a different sign. For instance, the, terms cor the term corresponding to y has a uh, positive sign, the term corresponding to z also has a positive sign, while uh, the term corresponding to x has a negative sign. So this tells us that we have a hyperboloid of one sheet oriented along the x-axis. Furthermore, since we have the term involving x minus 6 squared, we expect the graph to be shifted 6 units towards the positive x-axis. So before we solve for the traces, since our surface is not oriented in the usual way, we first rotate the usual coordinate axis. So here is the usual coordinate axis where the z-axis points upwards, the x-axis points towards you, and the y-axis points to the right. Since the surface is oriented along the x-axis, we want to make the x-axis point upwards. So we change the z axis to x and then label the remaining axis from y and then z in a counterclockwise manner. So we get the following axis. So all is left to do is to solve for the traces. So here we start with the traces that are ellipses. So first on the trace x equals 6, We set x equal to 6 on the given equation. So the first term becomes 0. So we get y squared plus z squared over 9 equals 1. So this is an ellipse with center at the point 6, 0, 0. Looking at the denominators, since 9 is greater than 1, the vertices correspond to a shift on the z variable. So we have 6. 0, 0, plus minus square root of 9, or the points 6, 0, plus minus 3. And the remaining two points are 6, 0, plus minus square root of 1, 0, or the points 6, plus minus 1, 0. So plotting these four points in the coordinate axis that we have obtained, we get the following. So to get the ellipse, we connect these four points as in the animation. Next, we now proceed to the trace on the plane x equals 12. So here, uh, the first term becomes negative times the quantity 12 minus 6 squared over 12. So we get negative times 6 squared over 12 or negative 36 over 12 or negative 3. So now, when we move this to the right-hand side, we get 1 plus 3 or 4. Thus, we get y squared plus z squared over 9 equals 4. Dividing uh, both sides of this equation by 4, we get z squared over 4, or I mean y squared over 4, plus z squared over 36 equals 1. So this trace is an ellipse with center at the point 12 Zero, zero. Since uh, now looking at the denominators, 36 is greater than 4. The vertices correspond to a shift on the z variable. So we have 12, 0, 0 plus minus square root of 36, or the points 12, 0 plus minus 6. 
and the remaining points are obtained in a similar fashion. So we have 12, 0, plus minus square root of 4, 0, or the points 12 plus minus 2, 0. So plotting these points along with the first ellipse that we have obtained, we have the following. So connecting these points, we get the second ellipse. Next, on the yz plane, we set x equals 0. So the first term now becomes negative times the quantity 0 minus 6 squared over 12. So we have negative 36 over 12 or negative 3. So when we move this to the other side, we get 1 plus 3 equals 4. So we obtain y squared plus z squared over 9 equals 4. So when we divide this equation by 4 on both sides, we get y squared over 4 plus z squared over 36 equals 1. Again, this is an ellipse with center at the origin. Looking at the denominators, since, 13, since 36 is greater than 4, the vertices correspond to a shift on the z variable. So we have 0, 0, 0, plus minus square root of 36. So we get the points 0, 0, plus minus 6. And for the remaining two points, we have 0, 0, plus minus 4, uh, square root of 4, 0, or the points 0 plus minus 2, 0. So plotting these four points along with the previous traces, we get the following. So to get the ellipse, we connect these uh, four points as in the animation. So, so far we have obtained uh, the traces which, which are uh, ellipses. So we now move on to the other traces. So for the trace on the xy plane, we set z equals 0. Then the third term on the equation, which is z squared over 9, becomes 0. So we are left with y squared minus x minus 6 squared over 12 equals 1. Here we swap the first two terms. So this equation is a hyperbola with center at 6, 0, 0. Now, since the term corresponding to the variable, to the y variable is positive, uh, then the vertices are 6, 0, plus minus square root of 1, 0, or the points 6, plus minus 1, 0. So to graph the two portions of the hyperbola, we need more points. So here, we look at the points on the planes x equals 0 and x equals 12. So from the equation of the hyperbola, we substitute x equals 12. So we have 1 equals y squared minus the quantity x minus 6 squared over 12. So when we substitute 12 for x, we have 12 minus 6 squared over 12 or negative 36 over 12 which becomes negative 3. So when we move negative 3 to the left hand side, we get y squared equals 1 plus 3 or 4. So we have y squared equals 4, which has solutions when we take the square root on both sides, y equals plus minus 2. So we get the points 12 plus minus 2, 0. Similarly, on the plane x equal to 0, we have substituting x equal to 0, we get 0 minus 6 squared over 12, which becomes negative 36 over 12 or negative 3. So when we move negative 3 to the left-hand side, we get uh, 1 plus 3 or y squared equals 4. So taking the square root on both sides, we get y equals plus minus 2. So here we get the points 0 plus minus 2, 0. So now plotting the 6 points, we have the following. Again, here we already drawn the 3 ellipses. So to get uh, the portions of the hyperbola, we connect the corresponding points. Lastly, on the xz plane, we set y equals 0. So that the second term on the equation, which is y squared, now becomes 0. So we are left with z squared over 9 minus the quantity x minus 6 squared over 12. Again, here we swap the places of the first and the third term. 
So this trace now is a hyperbola centered at the point 6, 0, 0. And since the term corresponding to the z variable is positive, then the vertices are 6, 0, 0, plus minus square root of 9, which are the points 6, 0, plus minus 3. Again, we need more points to graph the, to graph the hyperbola. So we use the points on the planes x equal to 0 and x equals 12 to aid us in sketching. So when x equals 12, we have 1 equals z squared over 9 minus uh, 12 minus 6 squared over 12. So that becomes negative 36 over 12 or negative 3. So when we move 3 to the other side, we have... Uh, the equation z squared over 9 equals 4 or we solve z squared equals 36. So getting the square root on both sides, we have z equals plus minus 6. And so we get the points 12, 0, plus minus 6. Similarly, on x equal to 0, we have 1 equals z squared over 9 minus 0 minus 6 squared over 12. So this becomes minus 36 over 12 or minus 3. Again, moving negative 3 to the other side, we obtain 4 equals z squared over 9 or we solve z squared equals 36. So from here, we get the solutions z equals plus minus 6. And so we get the points 0, 0, plus minus 6. So we plot this 6 points. So to get the hyperbola, we connect the corresponding points. Finally, when we put all the labels on the points, and after identifying the portions of the traces that are inside or are covered by the surface, and then replacing them uh, with broken lines, we have the following. So from here, we get the required sketch of the hyperboloid of one sheet. So in the 3D space, the surface looks like the following. So this ends the discussion on quadric surfaces. In summary, to sketch a quadric surface, we must first identify the type of quadric from equation by looking at the degrees of the variables and their corresponding signs. Next, recognize the orientation of the surface and make the necessary rotation in the coordinate axis. After this, identify the sufficient traces that are needed to graph the quadric. This can be easily done by keeping in mind that we need to eliminate each term. Also, always start with traces that are ellipses. From here, complete the sketch by labeling all important points and changing the portion of the traces to broken lines if they are inside or are covered by the surface to indicate depth. There you have it. See you in the next videos.